Let's go. Welcome back to Talking Trophies, our beloved Deves and Davies. Hope you're having a lovely week. Yes, yes. Hope you're having a lovely night. Hope, Hope you had a lovely, lovely day. You had a lovely day. Or at, middle of the night, or whenever, whenever or, you're listening to us. Or you're driving. Yeah, you're cruising. We hope, or you're in we'll the hope shower. You're yeah. Or on Showers? the toilet. Wait, so AirPods, you can take anywhere yeah, these days. actually taking the AirPods into the toilet, taking a dump, and yeah. just Literally listening to our voice. I think I've got a good voice, a good toilet voice. So wherever you're listening from, make sure you hit the subscribe button and the follow button. Yes. But big news coming from America, because, you know, it's big news when you got us talking about the WNBA. WNBA. There's a new youngster in town. Yes. There's a new youngster in town, and she is shooting threes like Stephen Curry. Yeah. She's shooting from the logo. Sometimes, mate, I'm thinking, man, she just might be the one. She might be the new face of the WNBA. And you know how big she is? She's so big that we're talking about the WNBA right now. Hey, I feel like we're in a generation now where, where it's, I think it's just a next generation of stars coming through. Yeah. People in sports. Like, you know, for example, like you have that Wembenyama guy in the NBA. Bro, the guy's just nuts. You have yeah. um, Caitlin Clark. You have, bro, they were saying that footy player from Western Bulldogs. Yeah, coming that up. That young guy, yeah. bro. Like, you know, I feel like it's just, well, I think we're hitting that wave where it's like, okay, the oldies are starting to fade. There's that transition. And of I new think stars. I'm realizing something. I might be coming a bit of an old head. How so? You know, when you see these young guys come through and my mind jumps straight away, they'll never beat LeBron. They'll never beat Steph Curry. Yeah. They'll never beat KD. Yeah. They'll never, I'm like, you know, never. Yeah. Never. Nah, but I think I, th- I think that that's that that's that transition, man. And I'm then even even for WNBA, I go like, you know, oh, she'll never beat Sabrina. Yeah, yeah. Sabrina's considered the yeah, goat yeah, in the WNBA. Best, yeah. So Nah, I'm, I'm telling you, she's she's doing something special, bro. Because yeah. you know why? Like even the numbers were crazy. Yeah. Like people were watching. Apparently today there was twenty thousand people um, in the the arena. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I think it sold. That was the highest in a while. And also in like a regular season game. And also the, the viewership numbers are good. Yeah. And like, yo, you got Stephen A. Smith talking about it and having debates yeah, yeah. about it. And I think, man, this is what you need for the WNBA. Did, man, imagine if we had a Dave in the WW, WNBA. Look, we'd, I'd love to have a Dave in the WNBA and the WWE as well. <laughs> yeah, as well. I was yeah. going to say WWE. Yeah, yeah. That'd be tough. <laughs> but hey, look, you know, you know, the thing is, it's funny, but I love how, you know, one thing about America, whenever something happens... It's it's a flood of opinions. Yeah, yeah. It's a flood of views. It's either love or hate. There's no yeah, yeah, in, yeah. In, be, in between. So pretty much, there was um there was a bad foul that was done by um on her when they were versing yeah, yeah. the was it the Chicago Char- I can't remember the team's name. Okay. You see, I don't watch the WNBA, <laughs> but pretty much she got bad fouled and yeah, yeah. the world went into everyone started talking about it and saying how this is the new face of the NBA. And I love because it's women. Yeah. They make it like everyone's jealous of her. Yeah, and yeah, like they yeah. bring this like Envious. very feminine, negative feminine attitude towards yeah, it. Yeah. It's like, you should be thankful for her. No one cared about the WNBA yeah, yeah. until you ca- she came along. What kind of a dumbass player would have any feeling other than, yes, this is awesome in response to that. But they're so envious of her because she's so good. And so annoyed by the fact that she's white, because we're seeing this in magazine after magazine, that they treat her like she's persona non grata. Yeah, no one cared yeah, about you. And yeah. it's just like, no, it's what that player did. Is she's known as a competitive player as well. Yes, I yes. think her name is Chebby something. I can't remember exactly, man. So shut up. But pretty much she she played dirty. She did literally what Pat, Pat Beverly would do in, yeah, the, in yeah. the NBA. But because it's women, it's like... Oh my God! She, everyone's jealous of her. Yeah. They hate the they hate um they hate the fact that a white girl is, and they brought race into it. They're like they hate yeah. the fact that there's a white girl that's doing big things in the WNBA, and we feel we feel like she should be praised and everyone should be going to her and saying thank you for getting us this viewership. It's basketball, man. You gotta you gotta foul hard. You, no, no, you gotta no. She, hey, firstly, look, it, it's she even acknowledges she she didn't yeah. take it like personal. Yeah. She said race had nothing to do with it. Yeah, she yeah. knew she's like yo, this is a part of the game. I'm playing yeah. with the big, the big dogs. Hey, do you find it annoying how things always end up? Bro? It goes from sports to race. Mm-hmm. Do you find it annoying? Oh, I'm, I'm huh? just gonna talk louder. Yeah. yeah. Do you find it annoying when things become about race? In I this type of manner, where it kind of it can, I don't know, do you, like do you, it's like unreasonable. I think I, I think this is the most ridiculous moment where race should be involved. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Like, and it, they go, this is a predominantly black sport. Yeah. 
okay, it is, but like no one cares if you're a white boy. Like, but at the same time, hey, you know what it is too? I think there is relatability. The same way I always say, yeah. yo, people like watching, like if we were a white podcast, a lot of Australians would be watching us. Yeah. But because we're black, and you're a bit, we'd be doing you're a bit halfy halfy. We'd be halfy halfy. So I'm the reason why we have some white people. Yeah, you got watch. a couple of whites that are coming in, yeah, you know? Yeah. But because we're, we're like, because we think we relate more to like black people, obviously, yeah, or yeah, Africans yeah. in Australia, you know? Even though, like, look, we got a decent Aussie accent and. We fit yeah, into society pretty well. And it's we are Aussies. Race, race does always come into yeah. play. I feel like it. It's just that sign of like... Yeah, because people come to us and they're like, you know, the conversations, community podcast. Yeah. And it's like, bro, I do not care about For this community. People. I'm those guys that comment on things like saying, hey, our taxpayer dollars is going to waste on these yeah. blokes. Yeah, send them back. But, <laughs> <laughs> but I'm, I'm happy that she's in the... I'm happy that like yo the the WNBA is getting these viewerships. Yeah. Because they've been they've been look they've been grinding for a while, bro. Yeah. Like they've been struggling for a while to like get this level of stardom, and now that they have a face, big whoop. It's a black. It's a white girl, but a lot of girls now are watching the W the WNBA. Like yeah. yo, I want to watch Caitlin Clark. I want to be like Caitlin Clark yeah, when I grow up. Yeah. And even I was watching like the when she was playing in Iowa. Yeah. She was playing uh, Iowa Hawkeyes, I think. Yeah. She was playing. Guys, the stadium, full. It's packed. It's packed. They're there for her. They and, love her. And, she's and the NBA players are pulling up. Celebrities are pulling up. To watch up. this girl play, yeah. bro. And she's an all-time scorer, bro. So, big ups to WNBA. Bright future ahead. And I think, like, you know what this shows too? This shows like, hey, listen, the investments are working out. Yeah. People are thinking like... Uh, look, people actually gun, want to watch this. People want to watch it. Yeah. And there is stars that are coming out of this. Yeah, yeah. Because she's what? She's 22. Because you're giving him a platform now. Yeah, she's 22, yeah? Yeah. So she was born in 2000, uh, 2000 and 2002. My math is good, mate. Come on, you can't but look so at me with so maths. So she was born in 2002. So WNBA really started yeah, yeah, yeah. getting starting around 2001, let's just say. Yeah. It got its push around 2009, 10. So she probably went into high school thinking, yeah, I want to get into this. Yeah. And she's like, I really like this. But because she saw the league. Yeah. So I'm saying, man, this is a good thing, bro. It is. This it is, is a good thing, bro. And you need this drama. You need this stuff to unfold. I just love how they're making this into like a real Housewives of Hollywood yeah, yeah. thing. What do you mean? Like I just went on the news thing before, yeah, for it. It says, Iowa star Caitlin Clark shares glimpse of boyfriend in new Frodo's. Oh. <laughs> hey, you like, know, no you know it's getting real when it's becoming TMZ yeah. vibes. Hey, 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 you, hey, you, lo- you, know, you know we love a good uh, story, couple story or something yeah, like that. Yeah. But you know what's even more wild than that? Guess what? In the WNBA, there's like a crazy circle of relationships yeah, yeah, yeah. where like, bro, you know, like those, I think there was a game or a final or something that happened. There was one game where there was like, there's 10 plays in the court. Yeah. Seven of them were in relationships with each other. Crazy. It was like, not seven, eight of them. Sorry, yeah, that yeah. would have been weird. One yeah, of them would have yeah, been yeah, a freeway. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Someone's but, getting cheated on. Yeah. It's like, hey, it's crazy drama too. Like, right. I remember hey, we love we love a bit of drama in sports. We we love a bit of you drama. Do, do. We, <laughs> we love the we love the female drama too. We do, but we also love a bit of men's drama. Yeah. So you know, one day I went to a, like one of my homies' basketball game. Mm. I'm there. I'm with the team beforehand. They're ging up. You know, it's the yeah. finals. Yeah. But one of the guys on the team just seemed dirty, yeah. like mad. Anyway, I'm like, yo, what's up with him? Whatever. And he goes, the guy on the other team that they're versing. The guy his girlfriend left him for. Oh, <laughs> so for me buster. watching this, I said it took the finals to a different level. Yeah, well, I'm talking about this is like D grade basketball yeah, 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 in yeah. northern suburbs. Yeah. But, bro, the the way he was shooting threes, looking at the bench, bro, the tension was there. A drama just adds a bit of oomph so, to the game. So should there be an, an added spice of homosexuality in the NBA? Yeah. Should we add a bit of a dibble <laughs> devil of yeah. uh, should we add a dibble devil of homosexuality in the yeah. NBA? Just well, to get the numbers up, like imagine like yeah, yeah. <laughs> What is going on, bro? I just found a news clip titled by the Sports <laughs> Rush. It says fact check. Is Caitlin Clark transgender? Question mark. Nah, you're lying. Nah, she's not. Obviously, bro, she's not. No, did someone actually make that article? So someone claimed it. There's TikTok, Twitter, Aki- yeah, it is. Have accused her of being a transgender athlete uh, because she's just insane. Her, she's a phen- phenomenal so, so, performer. So some guy j- on TikTok was just pissed off that a female yeah. was that good at basketball. Bro, that's out of the hashtag. No way. Hashtag Caitlin Clark is a transgender. Now, are you actually serious that someone was actually that pissed off that a female was that good at basketball? <laughs> they just yeah, said... 
they're too good to be a female. Well, it's showing all these posts, but yeah, obviously she's not. Obviously, but but yeah. hey, hey, shout out to her, bro. And hey, her shots are wild. You know she shoots from like the logo. But it, that, she that, dropped this today. Today she dropped thirty. That's why. Like, fam, I'm watching the you WNBA. Know, like, I can't wait for the next couples to verse each other. You know and you're Taylor crazy Clark's when play. they give you transgender rumors. Yeah. You know you're hitting that. You know, you're, you're, so, you know hey, you're doing well. So, for men, you're on the roids if you're doing crazy numbers. Yeah, yeah, And yeah. for women, you're transgender. Gender. That's the new thing from now on, from sport. If you're on the roids... Which is technically roids. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You've yeah. got testosterone. Yeah, yeah, yeah true, yeah, true, yeah. true. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> But hey, that, that's it's it's big it's big stuff, man, and it's big drama. You need drama in sport. Yeah. You need something for people to watch, like the fact that hey, this even though people will say this is negative, mm. it's shining a, a a bad light on the WNBA. Personally, from what I'm from what I'm seeing, I think it's a good thing. I'm watch. I'm like yo. I'm in tune. I'm I'm yeah. keeping up with tabs. I'm like, bro. To be honest, cuz I'll be honest with you, I have no social media and I'm really bored. So yeah. stuff like this, I like, can tell when you're sending in reels from the talking trophies page. Yeah. I know, bro. I'm down bad, bro. So, like, me, this is this stuff is entertaining to me, bro. Like, yeah. now I'll be like, because I got all this spare time that I don't normally spend on like Instagram yeah. and stuff, or and Snapchat and all of that. I'll yeah, just yeah. go and I'll just go watch read news articles. I'll go watch a bit of WNBA, watch a couple <laughs> streams. Yeah, yeah. So, and watching this is like, yo, this is big. This is big for female sports. Yeah, it's massive for them, man. And they 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 need to invest into this, and they need a implement a storyline now from now on what happens now yeah does she start beefing with her yeah does her boyfriend get involved, involved. you know her, and her boyfriend works for the paces maybe she really is trans by the way yeah and investigations <laughs> into that but K- hey, and caitlin K- caitlin clark's boyfriend does i read by the way i'll pretend it to i didn't know but i read the article oh, no, you yeah, read I, yeah, I read the gossip i read the gossip <laughs> caitlin, the gossip, K- caitlin clark's yeah boyfriend did play uh baseball and basketball okay and he's uh he works for the Pacers now, bro. Imagine getting, <laughs> imagine getting smoked by your girl and ball. No, nah, I reckon that'd be, bro. I reckon those games would be tough. No, no, but imagine like, you know, like just getting whooped three, just smacking threes yeah. down in front of your face, and then doing this. All right, hey, Damien, you think you're a baller? We got Naya from Hoop Nation. She's gonna burst you in a three-point contest. Hey, the best person win. I, I did this for breakfast. I did this. For Yeah, little boy. Little boy. Doing but, his hey, ones. But, but guess what? Her boyfriend's taller than her. Oh, no. He's yeah, like six oh, foot yeah. something. Like yeah, six foot. Like, sure, bro. I can't remember. No, but I reckon. I feel like if you're a WNBA player, you have to get her guys. Yeah. Unless you're into short kings. Share that with short kings. Look, uh, hey, there's a, couple, there's a couple blokes that they can pull some. They can pull the tall girls. I know a couple b- blokes that like they, they, pull, they pull the tall girls, man. And I'm like, how do you do it? What I say? Confidence. <laughs> you know what I mean? And you got to be a little bit stronger, but you got to yeah. you got to be on the size side, you know. Oh yeah, yeah, that, yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. So, but not in an insecure way where that's all you're about. What do you mean? Yeah, some guys they get so hard on the 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 mass, the body mass, that their personality is based on the body mass. Oh uh, yeah, but look, you know what you, I mean. Hey, you know what I think it is. You know what the you know what the Daves love. The Daves tell love. us. Hey, put us on. I'll put, I'll, knows I'll, what the Daves I'll put love. you guys on. Look, I don't talk to women often, but when I do, guys, it's game <laughs> over. And <laughs> Kazi, I'll tell you what the Daves love, bro. The, the Daves love confidence, guys. Hey, but shout out WNBA, bro. Yeah. 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 Shout out WNBA. It's crazy how we start talking about women and we just come straight back to men. We come straight back to men. We just take the limelight away. Hey, but it's great to see, you know, the, there's fire happening, going on. It's popping off in the WNBA. But yeah. speaking of sports and fire, Australia, we're lacking... We are lacking. We do not have a strong, healthy sports culture in high school. A hundred percent. And I brought this topic up because I was having a chat with a friend. Yeah. And this was, I was thinking about this. I was like, I was looking, because I was watching some high school stats and then I watched 
Caitlin Clark as well. Yeah. That's what got me onto and it. And her boyfriend. And her boyfriend gossip about that. But I was watching it and I was like, how come we don't have we don't have like Friday night matches where we're versing our local uh, other our local schools around us? How come we don't have matches where we <laughs> basketball, footy, soccer, like Friday night weekly matches where we're going up against other people? You know what I mean? That's what it is. That's what I want. I was talking about. We need to introduce that, man. Like, there's one school that I know of, Maribyrnong. Maribyrnong Secondary College. That's a good school. Mm. That school has, like, sports and stuff. But imagine every school had that. Yeah. And then from there... When I, when I think of is Altham. Have Altham? you heard of Altham? They have a basketball team. I know about Bro. that. And volleyball. Okay. What do you mean? Volleyball, their school rocked up with volleyball jerseys. Yeah. Bro, who the, who the heck has volleyball oh, jerseys? Like the actual, like, professionally they had, made. They had volleyball jerseys. Mm. That's it, Altham. And all that, and I was like, "What the heck, bro? Like, no yeah. one, no one's rocking Altham jerseys, bro. Yeah. Like, no one's rocking jerseys. We're there in our sports uniform, yeah, bro. But like, even then, like, imagine a culture where, like, bro, there's a basketball game going on at night, and like, everyone knows that these two teams have crazy players, yeah. But everyone, it's something that we would go to. We're mm. like, we have to pull up. That's what I'm saying. For example, like, if, and I think it makes scouting very easier, yeah, for school, for for um sporting clubs. So let's just say, like. A school in these these areas, North Melbourne, Flemington, and stuff, they verse each other in like let's just say this this western side, yeah? yeah. And then they have like a playoffs, and then whoever wins the western playoffs, yeah. let's just say that, that that happens around term one, term two, yeah. And then term three, you go you verse re, like all Australia, yeah, yeah. I'm all Victoria, and then from there, the winners from north, the winners from like all Victoria, so the winner of between north, east, south, west verse each other. They go versus New South Wales, New South Wales, Queensland, Queensland, Perth, yeah, and stuff. Yeah, yeah. And you have a school final, and then and I reckon it'd be insane. It'd be insane one, and it'd be like yo, there'd be mad investments yeah. into the schools. So governments will start putting money into this because you know what, people Friday nights are going to yeah. to go watch. I want to go watch my boy play, man. He's even versing sports in general, mm. like because like you have what even even let's say VFL right, yeah, AFL, bro. Imagine if they pumped like AFL is an Australian sport. I feel like we should be. Going hard in high school games, AFL, like footy, footy games. Mm. You know what I mean? Mm. It's our sport. It should be easier to bump up. Yeah. Like we pack out stadiums bigger than the NBA finals for the AFL grand final. Yeah. Bro, like that's insane. So yeah. we sh- I think we should, yeah. We, ne- we need to invest in things. And it makes it easier for scouts in the in the long run just so they can just rock up and be like, yeah, this is the best school in the north. This is the best school in the west. They're going to have a play. They're going to have a playoff game. Yeah, we can pick out the best footy players from this. And it'd bring a better culture to the country as well. For sports, yeah. it'd make it more competitive. And rather than everyone going to, everyone going to go like, I want to go play for this local soccer club, mm. local footy club. Instead of doing that, it's like, yo, I'm playing for my school. I'm repping my yeah. school. And it makes school more fun. Yeah, yeah. I think it'd be, it'd, it'd be a much more memorable uh, moment for someone in high school being like, yo, I went to this high school. I played for the school footy team. Yeah. And I got the most goal scored and that season. And you know what? It may stop some kids from dropping out because they're like, I can't wait to play VC basketball. Yeah. Because like, maybe, maybe ac- academically it's not the strongest, but they yeah. go like, Bro, this I really want to hang around for. Yeah, imagine like every week you rock up to every Friday night, every Thursday night. There's a match yeah. on. You know, yeah. you, you, that's something you're looking forward to. Or even like, for example, in the afternoon, like you gotta leave school. Period. I love this when you gotta leave like period four. Yeah, yeah. You know, yeah, yeah. you gotta go play your match against another school, and it's just like because you have to drive out somewhere. You gotta or, drive out somewhere. Yeah. So it, it looks, it looks, it's it's it brings a thrill to it's high a sick school. Feeling. Yeah, and it's for, it's for it's for both. Uh, basketball, soccer, footy, tennis, uh, tennis as well, um, badminton, badminton, like sports like that. And I think it's big in Sydney. Sydney's yeah. big. Sydney, I know of. They do like a lot of very inter school sports stuff, and it's very often they have leagues and stuff that go okay. on. But I just feel like it should be a Australian thing. Yeah. Like imagine having to fly over. Like you, you get, imagine this. You guys made it to like the state finals, and you get to fly to like Perth yeah. to verse the Perth, you know, Wild Dogs. Yeah, yeah, it's tough. And yeah, yeah. you know, you bring a couple of away people, or you go to the school, and it's you're going to a stadium filled with a school that completely hates you, or that yeah. there's derbies and stuff like yeah, that. Yeah, yeah. It just, br- I think it bring it a through flavor to it. And I think the the pool talent would be much bigger after because yeah, of that. like you'd, you'd you'd find a lot of people. Trying to, you know? Well, the, I think compete, the issue is... Train. Um, cause my brother, he plays domestic basketball yeah. and, and rep ball. And I think the, the hardest part about it is that a lot, of the, a lot of these people, it's about who you know. It's about who you know. So, like, you could be on a tough team, but for some reason on this tough team, if someone is trash, it just turns out that he's the coach's son or mm-hmm. his dad pays a lot of money to the sports club. Yeah. 
all that type of stuff. But I think this, when it when it's schools involved, because schools are government funded, yeah, there's nothing private about it. You can't actually pump funds to get you know your son on the team. No, it's, no, it's, uh, a ma- if, it's a matter of even if, if it's good. a private school, even if it's a private oh, school, private school, yeah. No, no, let's just say it is a private school. Private schools are gonna they're gonna spend money trying to get the best kids, giving them scholarships. Exactly. So you'd end up finding like kids for probably from not the best backgrounds yeah. getting scholarships because and going to schools they can't afford. Let's just say in Melbourne, like the Xavier's, the Wesleys, yes. you know, you get to go there because you're really good at basketball or you're really good at footy or you're yeah. really good at soccer. And you go, you get a better education one, yeah. you get you get to play for that school. And you know what? Even if it does become like a mismatch where like some schools are like really good. There's gonna be that once in a while where you get that story of like underdog an underdog team that school gave him the work, and that that's something you can look forward to. Because I remember, we, so we did this with dance. There was a, th- a thing called Wakakiri, mm. and what it was, every year you would have to put together this creative play, and in this creative play, um, you'd make a storyline, you'd have choreographers, you'd have dancers, and then you'd have people that are singing on the mic, maybe some acting scenes. Mm. But what it was, you verse. The first round was you verse all the schools in your region. Second round, all the schools in your state. And then third round, national. Yeah. So for us, we kept getting whooped every year. Yeah. Hoppers Crossing. Hoppers Crossing. Hoppers Crossing. Well, Look. Hoppers Crossing, they're on the th- uh, theatre stuff. Bro, you know you know what they had? Hoppers Crossing. Her, uh, the, the lady that worked at Hoppers they Crossing. Zesty, they had the Zesty Islanders. Yeah. yeah. They had the Zesty Islanders. <laughs> the Zesty Islanders. I'll tell you something, Kaz. <laughs> I'm telling you, I know, a lot, I, I, know a lot of, I know a lot of random stuff, Kaz. <laughs> and I know, Kaz, them Zesty Islanders, Kaz, they know how to dance. Yeah, yeah. They know how to yeah. dance, guys. Dance and then whoop you. Yeah, and they would dance. dance and bash. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, that I is, don't know how I know that, guys, yeah. but I know. Nah, that they had so the lady that was their their dance teacher used to run a massive hip hop school. Oh, the, like, okay. and at the time, I would say they were the best hip hop group, if not Melbourne, Australia. Mm. So they were they had these crazy kids that were like choreographing, dancing, and all that. Mm. But then one year, I remember I used to always say to my teacher, wait until I'm year 12. Because when I was year 12 was when I could help choreograph, choreograph it. I said, what? We'll win. Because we go in, first round, knock it out of the park. Second round, we're up against second place goes to Hopper's Crossing. Mm. First place goes to Reservoir High. Ooh, we knocked them. them. Then we go to Nationals. And at Nationals, we came second. Wait, did you guys do it in Victoria or you guys did it in another state? No, no, no. What happened was is when it comes to national, it's a bit it's a bit sad, but like they just get all the recordings and they send it up to the national and they all watch it and judge and it. That's what I'm saying, man. It's this it's this half hearted, half yeah, ass. Yeah, yeah. We have this weird culture in yeah, Australia, yeah. man. It's like everything's really half hearted, half ass. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Who cares? Yeah. Let the just kids go, it. miss a week of school. Yeah. Who cares if they got exams? They're not I mean it's not exams, exams or a sack, yeah. push the sacks back, but like Yo, this is memorable things in yeah, life, yeah, bro. Yeah, when yeah. you're 40, you'll talk about it. When you're internationals, like yeah, you're talking yeah, about yeah. it now. But the fact that they made you like record it yeah. and send it out. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It, it's it, different it to down. being at a theater live. and watching Winning it live. live. Yeah, 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 man. Yeah. You know what I mean? <clears throat> That's what I'm saying, bro. There's this half-hearted thing, uh, like half ass culture we have in yeah, Australia. Yeah, yeah. When it comes to everything, bro. It's like, bro, let's give it our all. Let's do the best. It. High school sports. That's what we're talking about. The stuff. Yeah. Let's push it, man. Let's make it a big thing, man. Let's get. Let's Cause make even like we do have sports here, but it's nothing crazy. Yeah. Like for example, you know, like I love Europe, right? Europe. They don't have the best basketballing in the world, but you know what they do have? Best the, fans. The best fan base yeah. in the world. Atmosphere is just completely. Yeah. Bro, you see, the WWE went to France. Mm. They were saying, like Randy Orton was like, bro, I've never been to a crowd. The way they like were chanting, that. I remember the French guy came in they and were they were chanting. Singing yeah. the, the bro, they were singing his song back to him. Yeah. He goes, I've never heard my song being sang back to me. Yeah. yeah. Like just the fan base is different. And the thing is, it's just we don't take things to a different level here. We're content just with pretending to be a smaller America. Yeah. It's <laughs> like it's like we we even in sports, it's like, whoa, we got this far. Yeah, yeah. Like American culture is like, we got this far. Yeah. Let's get to first now. That's how yeah, it is, yeah, you know yeah. what I mean? And it's like any sport. Even us, like, for example, it's like in the World Cup, we had a good run in the World Cup. We made yeah. it to a thing. And we even gave Argentina a hard time. And if Grand Cole scored that goal, we would have yeah. taken him to extra time. But it's like, ah, good, well done. We did we yeah. did good. That's it. Yeah. Like, there's no Out push the to be better, yeah. you know? And after the World Cup, there was this little motivation. There was this yeah, little yeah. motivation where pretty much 
People started going to A League matches. People started watching the games. Guess what happens? Mm. One incident happens. The A League comes in and sanctions all the fans. They're yeah, done, yeah, yeah, bro. Yeah. In Europe, they throw bloody flares at grandmas. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They yeah. don't care. Yeah, yeah. It's a part of the game. Like they'll tell that one person off, yeah. but they won't f- find grandmas. Find yeah. Throw <laughs> look. We 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 do not promote throwing flares at grandmas. <laughs> yeah. but it's a part of the game. Yeah, it's part of the game. <laughs> yeah. But there's this push. Like yeah. it's like okay, we'll sanction that one person. Mm. Oh, he'll get in trouble. Yeah. But they killed it off, man. They like they they put all these sanctions in or rules in and stuff. And then people said, stuff this, we're not coming to the A-League matches. And the A-League matches went downhill again. Yeah. Things start happening good in this country with sports. And there's always we, we this authority body from the FA to the Australian FA uh, Football Association yeah. to the Footy Association, uh, AFL. To It's just they're killing the sport, man. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, you just got to let people be passionate. Let them have fun. Obviously, you want it to be safe. That's the main yeah. thing. But you want it to be a fun space. People work, they got mortgages, they got credit cards, they got car insurance, yeah. they got they got car loans back to pay back. Bro, the guy wants to have a break. And yeah. if that means, you know what, throwing a couple flares at the sporting arena, <laughs> yeah, yeah. or if that means, you know, screaming passionately, let him do it, man. Yeah, yeah. You know what I mean? That's what it is, man. What, what else we got next? Free anyway? our sports. Yeah. I think let's jump into how deep can it get. All right, yeah, let's do how deep can let's it get. Let's go how deep can it get. Let's do it. Bro, you know what we need, actually? What? We need a little, like... Soundtrack that goes with that, bro. You know what I'm thinking of doing? I'm actually gonna hire some girl with a nice voice just online and get her to sing How Deep Can It Get? Can it? Oh, get her to sing How Deep Can It Get is wild. (laughs) (laughs) I just clocked, guys, but get her to sing How Deep Can It Get? (laughs) Yeah, yeah, yeah. You'll get her to sing How Deep Can It Get? That's a bit weird, but and then when we say it, it's like, okay, now it's time for How Deep Can It Get. How deep can it yeah, get? Yeah, she sings. No, no, I'm just no, no. What I'm saying, her singing is wild. How deep can it oh, get? Okay. That's what I was saying is wild. Oh, we'll get a guy to sing it. Yeah, but that's us. All right, yeah. well, <laughs> get a dog to sing it. Yeah, we, you get a dog to sing it. But yeah, <laughs> and then I was thinking of doing that, and for it does it hit as well. We need a song as well. Yeah, hundred percent. Yeah. All right, let's see what we got, man. All right. Would you rather more time or more money? More money. Yeah, I was just saying the same. Cause. <laughs> time is just like I'm at that point in my life, guys. Where I just you just want to be wait, wait, more time is in more time in the day or more time has in more time living, bro. Oh, no, no, I don't want that because, like, I'll be honest, I feel like you get to a certain age and you're like, stuff this, like, just give me, yeah, here. yeah, just my parents are dead, yeah, my dog no, when uh, I was eight is dead. L- l- let's say, let's say a reason why I'm out then. Let's go, would you rather five years, five more years of living or five million dollars right now? Five million right now. Or over five years of living? Yeah, I'll flip that. With what? Cause I'm telling you, flipping money is just um it's 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 not real, bro. Because we always say that. No, no. What I'll do is I'll invest it into things that make money gradually. Like wh- whatever it is. Um But you're not gonna enjoy the money then, man. But I will in ten years or twenty years. Because like now I can keep working where I'm at. And then, you know, earn up enough to buy a couple more houses, whatever it is. Um, but then it's like, I don't have to, like, let's say if I, let's say I buy like five mil, bro, buy four houses just off the bat, bang, buy it. No, I'm not even having, having to pay it off. Got renters on it. I'm earning like whatever X amount per week. That's, I'm chilling. Kazi, I know, I know what you're saying, bro. That's actually, that's a good point. That's a good point. <laughs> yeah. Cause I, but let's the, say, okay, let's say even on the smallest scale of it, like what I'm profiting, like let's say I'm making an extra. 900 bucks a week just off rent bro that's that's i'm chilling bro chucking that straight in the savings bro halfway through the year bro holiday yeah that's true the thing is i just don't understand why people save money till they're old like because yeah. your knees are done you're not going to yeah. be able to run on the beach yeah. you, you have diabetes cholesterol and high blood pressure you're not going to enjoy those those uh the munchies as much because you can't have too much spice now because yeah. you got bloody I don't know, stomach you, you disease or whatever. Have, you can't you know, even have the, the nice cold juice you want. Yeah. Diabetes is yeah. kicked in. That's what I'm saying. I, I, <laughs> I never understand this, like, enjoy money later on. Like, yeah, Kaz? Yeah. Enjoy it now. I'm, I'm, I'm hoping to live till, like, 70 at tops. Yeah. But I want to max at 80. Min 70. Oh, actually, no, oh, but if I'm hitting the gym. If oh, I'm actually, no, the no. Gym, no, no. I think, Kaz, I've got a good body and I'm hitting the gym. And I'm still working out until I'm like 80, even going for, for actually, them. Actually, no, 85. Because I've seen some people in their 80s and they're like, you know. Like, they're not bad, yeah? They're enjoying it. I said 85. I reckon past 85 is when, you know, dementia kicking in full tilt. 
Kazi, or like I, arthritis I, I, is kicking I, I in need, full tilt. I need to die before that dementia kicks in because the stuff I'm going to say is too wild. <laughs> and <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. Kazi, imagine you on dementia, like just reminiscing about all the evil stuff you've done in your life yeah, and just yeah, saying yeah. it. And <laughs> your grandkids are just there like, hey, let me tell you a story about and how And then eventually I, it gets to a point where you just forget everyone. Yeah. That's and you, and you, your mind's stuck in like 2001. Yeah. And you think 9-11 just happened. <laughs> like, and, and yeah. yeah. And, you and you're there just screaming like... Yeah. And they're like... <laughs> Close the airports. And yeah, it's yeah. Like, No, it's like the airports are okay right uh, now. That's actually true, bro. You know what I mean? Like, because people get I, stuck I, in I, certain I need, errors. No, no, once that dementia kicks in, just pin me down. Not pin me down, but like I'm praying. <laughs> yes, I'm praying. <laughs> I'm praying to God that yeah, I, yeah. I, I return. Yeah. You know, my just soul gets taken just away. Just slip down the stairs or something. But I have dementia. Oh, dementia, you function normally, yeah? Yeah, you no, do. No, I'm talking about, no, no, I'm yeah. talking about Dementia is when, like, bro, like, <laughs> there's a news article saying you've gone missing, in, like, you live in North Melbourne, but, like, you're halfway walking down Frankston. Oh. Because you've gone on the wrong train or something and you forgot where you were. Oh, okay. You know, like, yeah, yeah, dementia yeah, yeah. And then, like, your your grandkid comes to pick you up and you're like, who are you? I don't I don't know who you are. Oh, no. I reckon dementia no, no, okay. is really that. tough I don't on mind the family. No, no, I, I, I don't mind that. Stuff them, they can suffer because I put in the work for that 40, <laughs> yeah, 50 years. Yeah, yeah. I don't mind that. I'm talking about the dementia when you're like... Oh, what do you think about that, bro? Imagine I'm talking about the dementia when you're talking like randomly and you're screaming and you're going yeah, crazy. Yeah, That's yeah, the dementia yeah, I, th- yeah. I thought you were talking about. Like that level, take me out. Like God, I'm, like my prayers will be like, yeah. I'll be screaming. Ah! Or if I can't walk anymore. Nah, walking's overrated. Nah, bro, I reckon if I can't walk... At bro, that age, bro? Like, bro, you're going to walk like one kilometer an hour, cuz. Well, at least I'm getting yeah, somewhere. Get somewhere, yeah. No, I get a wheelchair. Yeah, but wheel me down the stairs. I don't want to live. You know what I mean? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> like, yeah, that's true. Like, I, I, for me, I just can't do it. I don't reckon I could do it. Um, I'd go more money. Yeah. Get that five million. I'd probably do that same as well. Invest it. But you know what I'll do? I won't buy like four, five, four houses or whatever. I'll probably mm. invest it. And I'd, you know what I'll do? I'd buy like two houses here. And then I'd buy like one house in Africa. And then like a rural town in like Af- um, America, like I'd spread it around because I yeah. just I'm telling you, man. The more I live here, the more I realize like you know, you know as I get older, it's it's it wasn't so much a year ago, but now I would say I could see myself living in a, a quiet country that like hasn't been corrupted fully yet, where like you can live well. Yeah, you know you can actually like you know a militia group's not gonna rock up. Oh no, nah. it's random Tuesday and take people out and be but like, we'll take over. You can walk, you could probably work four days a week mm. and still be happy, or three days a week and yeah. still live comfortably. Nah, I've, I've been telling you, I was having a chat with our cousin last, what, two weeks, three weeks ago, mm. and that's what I was telling her, bro. I'm like, yo, you get this one opportunity to live in this world, yeah, yeah, and you, you, you're never going to come back again, yeah, and you decide to live. One place and never move out again. Yeah. One city. I watched a video of a guy. This is an American guy. He moved to Vietnam state and um, he works from home for a company international. So he's raking it in. Yeah. But the guy works like four days a week. Yeah. And then he, he's just going through like what I do. So like on his break, he goes down to the market and everything's so cheap. You, like he goes, I actually don't have to cook. Mm. I never have to cook. Like yeah. this food is just so cheap. Yeah. And I go, bro. And then he goes, yeah, like I'm just going to go to the beach. I'm chilling. I'm like, bro, you're just living your life. Yeah, but and you know what's good? Do that for like two years. Bro. And then you come back home. Yeah. And then you come back to Australia. You live here for a bit. And then you're like, oh, you know what? Let me go to another place. And yeah. you live there. Look, the thing is, yeah, this yeah, is yeah. Australia is a safe country, bro. I'm te- I know I I realize this the more I travel, I'm like, yo, it that's why people live here, man. People yeah. are scared to live somewhere else. The safety here, man. Yeah. If anything goes wrong, bro, it's triple zero. And nine times out of ten. You're gonna be look like you're gonna be all right. Yeah. Then there's that one time you're gonna run into the <laughs> group and they're gonna take you out and shank you out to death. But it's well, it's like, not to like be honest, just don't buy a Mercedes or anything nice. Just live yeah. live comfortably. Yeah. Don't go live flash. Don't yeah. live flashy. Live comfortably. Yeah. Next one is, are humans better at creating or destroying? Bro, I'd say creating, man. Creating or destroying? I'd say creating. I think humans are better at creating things. Um, humans are w- w- like, bro. We've made such great things, bro. Yeah. And, like, bro. Think about fairy floss. <laughs> just, fairy floss isn't all that, bro. Nah, bro. I'm just saying, like, think about fairy floss. Like, how great is it? Like, we've been able, we we made that. Cause you know, just me at the machine and how they make it. 
Yeah, yeah, just the other guy. It just comes, it. just flies out of yeah, nowhere, yeah, yeah, and you yeah, just yeah. put a stick in there. Yeah, and you just twirl it. <laughs> yeah, that's what I'm, how tough is that? <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, yeah. come on, bro. Like, yeah, think yeah, about yeah. that. Like, how good is that, man? Um, we've made nuclear bombs, but we haven't used them yet. You know, like, if we yeah. were if we were better at destroying, we would have made nuclear bombs and smashed our. Countries. Nah, I felt like there was Actually, an era. We did no, use no. Them. Oh, I Hiroshima. feel like, bro. I was gonna say there was an era where we were great at destroying. World War One to World War Two, that era. We were amazing at building things with the intent of like, I'm going to use this to smoke this nation or yes, this country. Yes, yes. But cause even like, bro, Japan got bombed nicely, yeah. bro. And it, to be honest, and it's, it, not it was just, it's not even just the two nukes, bro. I'm talking, we're talking about like even Tokyo, everywhere got constantly bombed that they yeah. had to rebuild. Yeah. We are, we are. Over history, we have been really, actually... I think until maybe like after World War Two, yeah. we've been great at creating. Oh yeah. But prior to World War Two, we were probably better at destroying because if you think about it, like empires, how many empires were, destroyed. were destroyed. Yeah. Yeah, like tribes were destroyed. It was yeah. just that that was the way of living. Was just yeah. the you you resource in and then you just take out. But we, I think, like for example, America's learned a lot. Yeah. America's learned a lot from past. One thing America, I'll give I'll, I'll give a shout out to democracy for yeah. because they've looked at the past and they've been like, this is how we can fall and. Mm. Even like now You see like Trump and Biden We don't want to get too political But yeah, like yeah. stuff going on People are like This is the fall of America But I'm pretty sure They'll be like Okay let's not make that mistake yeah. You know And yeah, like yeah, by yeah. having Military bases everywhere yeah. Setting up communication routes And doing all well, of that Well think stuff. about it There was a time where like The president had to decide Whether the free slavery You know like yeah. It's, yeah. <laughs> We've come a long way We've, we've, we've come <laughs> yeah. a long way yeah. From having a president Has to free slavery To like now the Black women running the WNBA, yeah. and a white girl being in the WNBA is an issue. Yeah, 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 you know? yeah, yeah. Um, yeah, I think we're better at creating things now, man. Yeah. I think humans. I think we're we're an amazing species, bro. We have a lot of flaws, and I'm glad I get to have this experience as a human. Yeah, like I, I, I there's days when I'm just down and out, like depressed. Yeah, Not depressed. You, you know what? I look just back, bored, and I'm like, I'm glad I'm a human, bro. But I look back at technology. And I go, man, we got so many things to do. Yeah. Like, I can see why people were bored and just, like, stealing cars. What do you mean? We got so many things to do. Like, bro, just activities, places. Bro, like, I'm like technology-wise, bro, I fly, bro. That play. Have you been there? No. Nah. Indoor skydiving. Have you done it? I've done it. I need to do it. Bro, indoor skydiving, cuz. Yeah. Bro, who would have thought you can do indoor skydiving? Yeah, Imagine, man. Imagine if you went back in time and you were like, okay, you soldiers, I know you did the parachuting, but guess what? I found a building. Yeah, a parachute inside. Yeah, right. They'll chip out. They go no way. Like even photos. Yeah, yeah. Photos is a perfect example. Yeah, yeah. Like the fact that we can take a photo of a moment. Yeah. And look back at it thirty, forty years later, and be yeah. like, "Fuck, I remember that day. That was an amazing." Imagine day. you go back to like three hundred years ago, where people had to ride horses to the local market yeah. just to travel all the way back yeah. home. The cook something, you tell them, guess what? Yeah. There's a thing called Uber. Oh. Uber Eats. And they drop it off to your house and already cooked. It off to your house, yeah. <laughs> and it's cooked and you don't even need a lift your finger. <laughs> yeah. But like, even photos. Yeah. I'll give you an example with photos, yeah. There was a village. There's like, you know how obviously like there's all these isolated villages in like the Amazon. They're unaware of everything. They're unaware of everything. So some, there's a lot of, look, I'll tell you something about you Christians. Yeah. You Christians love going to random blokes yeah. and telling him about Jesus. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. He's, 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 he's he's missionaries. The missionaries, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know? He's, he's from a good mission. Yeah, 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 you know yeah, what I mean? Yeah. So you guys go and you guys go and you tell people about Jesus, Jesus. Yeah. and you, you tell them about the love he has yeah, and yeah. you give him food and you give him a, you show him some cool technologies <laughs> yeah, and yeah. they'll be like, whoa, and they convert. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So... They did that to one village. Yeah. And then Where they showed it? them... Uh, in probably like the Amazon area. Oh, okay. And they showed them photos. And they're tripping out. Homeboy looked at the photo, saw a person, saw people, looked behind the photo, saw nothing there. Yeah. Show, they showed it to the chief. You know what the <laughs> chief did when he saw that? Witchcraft. Witchcraft. <laughs> yeah. Killed them all. <laughs> yeah. There's a, Killed yeah, them have you, all. Have you heard of the Senator Islands? Is it the ones they don't... Till now they don't have the, any. Yeah, till now they don't have they, anyone. They, they hit the guy with the arrow. Yeah, and mm. it, that was a missionary. Yes, yes. He was yes. on his way to like he, to preach him. the gospel. Yeah, and so they go there, and apparently he chilled with him for two days, but then they got sus on him. Yeah, bow and arrowed him. Yeah, was he the one that he chilled with them? Did he chill with them? He chilled with them for a couple of days, but yeah. then they turned on him. Oh, okay. it's either they turned on him or it was actually upon upon like just them seeing him just. 
arrowed him. Yeah, I think I think they were just they just until now anyone. Apparently that they're on site. They yeah. literally like until there's now. there's actually cameras of like when a helicopter flies over, they just start flinging bows up. Yeah. But I wonder what they think like helicopters are, cause like you know when they just look up. I think they think they're like machines, like time, not, not like like um, like, like robots. No, or no, no, like UFOs. um, demon teleportation, transportation no things. They they genuinely be- they believe this yeah, is like yeah, demons yeah. and witchcraft and stuff. But they do that stuff as well, man. Like yeah. yo, these uh, these these guys are really into like the voodoo, the black yeah, magic yeah, yeah, and stuff, yeah, yeah. and calling spirits and stuff like that. Yeah. it's a big thing for them, you know. Yeah. Even especially being isolated. So when they see stuff that happens, they're probably like, oh, it's the demons and yeah, stuff. Yeah. So the fact that we got to the voodoo <laughs> and stuff talking about yeah, humans yeah, yeah, creating yeah. or think we're better <laughs> at creating, I think. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, we are better at creating. But w- and I'm glad I'm glad I'm a human and I'm I'm not gonna lie, even though I live a very average life, I'm glad I get to experience life. have the human experience and experience this thing called life. It's such an amazing thing. It has highs, it has lows, and the lows yeah, yeah, are pretty yeah. low and I've seen a lot of lows. But the highs are really high. Bro, but the highs are so worth it, man. Just like bro, moments yeah. in life. And I think I think a lot of people should reflect on it, man. I think we don't reflect on it enough. Like, yo, I we you get to experience this yeah, thing. Yeah. Like, don't you ever just sit there like yo I get to experience life and I get to experience life in the modern day. Yeah. Like, I get to experience this world like we didn't as really, it is right now. Right now. We didn't yeah, we're yeah. not seeing like extreme wars and stuff. Like yeah. bro, the worst thing we probably experienced was lockdown, yeah. COVID. And we were told, hey, listen, stay home, we'll pay you. And you guys get to just bro, chill. And, and we played games. And we and did Uber air raid food. and Uber Eats food and played did air raid. Yeah, we did. And air raid popped off in and COVID. Air raid was good. We actually it's funny, we hit our peak in COVID. You reckon? I feel like, no, no, statistically, like numbers wise, it peaked in COVID. But some of our videos were so random, bro. It was just yeah. random, but like 5,000 views. Yeah. No, Air Raid Air- Air- was a good time. Oh, Air Raid was a, but the actual Air Raid I think segment. the idea of Air Raid of bringing people on and stuff is amazing. And I yeah. think Melbourne just didn't appreciate it enough. Yeah. All right, guys, we've, we, we've got a special one for you. This one, this, this, this one is dedicated to the glizzy gobblers. Yeah. This is a this is dedicated to the starving gobblers, <laughs> <laughs> the ones that he loves snags. <laughs> he loves snags, the deep throat ones. It's time for oh, does it hit? hit. Damn and it. we are eating from Houston hot dogs, who has been dropped off by Muhammad Ayaz. Shout out Muhammad Shout Ayaz. Out. Shout out the bloke, even though um, he didn't come upstairs. Yeah, he didn't come upstairs. Bit lazy. Give him a five star, but we 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 love to support our migrants working. We have the Texas Tommy yep. and the Atlanta dog. Yep, and chips. And chips. But how come... I thought we ordered hot dogs. Why do they look like... And they definitely don't look like what they are on the site. So, the first one looks kind of wild. See this look straight up. This is the most sus hot dog I've ever seen in my life. Have a look at mine. Oh, yeah, just show them like that. Yeah. Make sure it's fully in the thing. But look at that. Oh, that is sus. The fact that we're going to eat that on camera is wild. My one's wild, bro. All right, let's 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 start off with the chips. All you right, know, we, we always start off before we get to the main event. We're on the road for our chips that are 10 out of 10. We're yet to have chips that are 10 out of 10. We've been struggling, man. Melbourne has the worst chips. But we had one people... One, uh, who was it? The Barclays Kitchen. Barclays Kitchen had decent chips. Yeah. So like an 8 out of 10 or 9 yeah, out of 10. Yeah, but besides that, we haven't had good chips. Let's go right. suss it out. I'll say these ones traveled a lot better than usual. Mm. But they just taste like normal chips. I think this needs more salt. More flavor. More flavor. And a dipping sauce. Like, mm. I feel like it needs a, it's missing a dipping sauce. Uh, this tastes like a fish and chip shop. I'll Five give out it, of ten. Yeah. I was going to give it a four. Yeah, I'll give it a five. Four. All right. Hot dog I wanna time. See you, I want to see you have yours first. I want to see how you eat it because... Apparently, the way I eat is one, outrageous, and two, very hey, sus. So one of our deeps messaged us saying, I eat outrageously. And one of the one of my boys told me, he's like, bro, the way you eat is mad sus. So I want to see how you eat a hot dog. And I want to eat it as non-sus and heterosexual as possible. Yeah, you know you like that. Glizzy gobbler, Damo. Let's go. Oh, 
Hey, yo, whoever could fit these 10 glizzies in their mouth, hundred dollars. Oh, there's mac and cheese in yours. Ooh. Bro, let me have a bite of the back. Hey, yo. <laughs> yeah. Wait, wait. Oh, you want me to pause my review before? I'll be honest, I do think it's a sausage, though. I don't think it's a hot dog. Mmm. Or is it a hot dog but not boiled? It's yeah, fried. Yeah. Well, it's uh, not bad. I think it's a fried hot dog. I like Damon, the flavors. You said it wasn't gonna travel well before we recorded. Yeah, I didn't think it would travel well. And they did alright. But I'd say this traveled decently. Yeah. Um, I've never really ate. I'm not a hot dog guy personally. But I'll give this one. Uh, you were saying that the sausages were like a German style. Yeah, it, it does. It remi- The way it looked reminded me like a Kransky kind of vibe. Okay. Kransky. Kransky. Is Kransky. Does Kransky, Kransky, Kransky taste like that? A bit, yeah, yeah. It does? Yeah, yeah. Ooh, nice. Yeah, yeah. Um, <laughs> with the Kransky, uh, it, this one's a hot dog. I can, it, yeah, you yeah, can yeah, taste yeah, the you hot can, dog. Yeah, you can, yeah. Like, the skin feels like a sausage. Yeah. But it's a hot dog. You yeah. can tell the inside. What would you give that out of 10? <sighs> Coleslaw, mac and cheese, barbecue sauce. Never thought that would happen. Nah, I would say it wasn't terrible. It wasn't amazing. Mm. Six and a half. Okay, six and a half. I was going to give it a seven. I thought it was pretty all right. Yeah. I, think it, I thought it was all right. I think it... All right. Let's, let's try Let's yours. try this one. I had to cut off the ends because it was way too it's way sus. too long. It was way too long and I don't like that long, long... Yeah. I don't like that long glizzy, you know? All right, let's go. So this is the Texas, right? Yeah. All right, let me give it a go. Why are you gay? Yeah, I see what the viewers mean. I'm really biased, though, because I like cheese. Mm. The beef rash has ruined it. The beef rashes, I feel like they're just like overcooked or too hard. I thought that my one was better. Your one was better. And I think it's because the beef rashes let it down. I think the beef rashes let it down. Um, I don't know. This f- Flavor's f- kind of bland. And it was bland. And I thought it was more of a salami kind of vibe mm. with the beef rashes on. Mm-mm. So it'll be that soft bite you have after the hot, you know, after you have the hot dog, you have that soft bite of the, yeah. um, the salami or beef you rashes. You seem like a hot dog expert. Fam, bro, I know my food, fam. <laughs> you know like, my food, yeah? I'm not gonna lie, bro. Lately, I've been... And too much cheese. I'm a cheese guy, but too much. That's way too much, yeah. But I'm telling you, now I'm starting to... Uh, and I think the onions were overcooked. Mm. I'm just chewing on it right now. It's overcooked. Yeah. But that was a disappointment. Thought it'd be better. The Atlanta one was nice. Yeah. So shout out my rappers in Atlanta, man. Future music and stuff like <laughs> yeah. that, man. Um, What would you give that out of 10? I'll give that a... Five. Thought it was very average. Yeah, I'd say yeah. I, I agree. Let's go. I'll go. I'll give that a five. All right, give him a call. Um, overall, I'll give uh, Houston hot dogs a. Mm. I think you're in Houston. That's why. Oh, here our bases are in Brunswick. Oh, there, there's a heap of them. Oh, okay. Oh, is it? A, is it a stand? I don't know. Bro, they do fresh jam donuts. So random. All right, let me see. Contact. Bro. Oh, you can't contact them, yeah? There's no number here. All right. Overall. Houston hot dogs. Houston hot dogs. Very I'm, mid. I'm, I'm going to give them a, I'm going to give them a six out of 10. Yeah. I think oh. they're a very average store. Yeah. Nothing shop. special. Nothing special, but it's good. Like. Yeah. Compared to last week, bro, I'll give this a 10. Yeah. Like, Furniture, yeah. Gully, that was shocking. But Houston, I'll give him a 6. 6 I'll out of 10. 5. 5? And okay. a half. 5 and a half out of 10. This on itself? Yeah. Tastes disgusting. Have one by itself. Yeah, I just did. No, I thought it was all right. But yeah, Houston thing, I thought it was... I'll give you guys a, I'll give you guys a 6 out of 10. Uh, we, we'll go 5 and a half. 5 and a half. Yeah, we'll settle on 5 and a half. 
nothing special did its job yeah but yeah it's all right pretty average but yeah what man what's the demographic that hmm? indulges in this kind of meal what what do you feel like the demographic is that would order this i don't know man i feel like just like i'm just thinking we record on I've, saturday I've never, nights i've never been with anyone they're like yo feeling like a hot dog right now no nah, no i don't think people would go out of their ways to get it but i think like I'm I'm assuming it's in Brunswick because it says in Brunswick. I'm assuming probably it's it's a Saturday, Friday. You're going you're going to have a couple food. of drinks. Just grab a sh- you know just a hot dog before you go out and whatever. Yeah. Have something light, easy, not too heavy on the stomach. It does the job. Average, yeah. and it's not something you'll complain about. Mm. But I don't think this is something like on a random Tuesday night when I'm just chilling at home watching a movie. You'd be like, hey, I'm craving. Houston hot dogs. <laughs> Houston hot dog. Yeah. It's not really Houston. We can't say German accent with Houston though. Yo, I'm craving that Houston hot dog, bro. Yeah, what's a Houston accent? Who's from Houston? Down south, man. Like Shawn Michaels, Travis Scott. Oh yeah. Uh, yeah, there you go. But yeah, shout out Houston hot uh, hot dogs. It was decent. Nothing yeah. special. Yeah. That was the episode that does it hit. Yo, I think people gotta recommend us. Deves and yeah. Davies. Listen, well, like the Deves and Davies have been very lazy. Send Easy. us places. Send us something. Come on. Besides that, yeah, let's let's jump back <laughs> yeah. into the episode. Yeah. But does it? It was it a glizzy. It? it was a glizzy. Yeah. Well, it's a Pride Month. It's Pride Month, isn't it? I, I want to know, but yeah, I'm glad to know you're on it. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it's a Pride Month, so the start of Pride Month jumped on the glizzies. Yeah. What else we got? All right. Let me tell you. You know, I was telling you the story about this guy um, last week. His name's Hiro Anoda. Hiro Anoda. Sorry, I'm licking my fingers because the napkin says none. Yeah. Who, 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 who's this? So, I was telling you about a Japanese soldier from the war. Oh, yeah, the 10,000. Oh, wait, I, w- I went off and I ended oh, up, did you watch I ended it? Up watching it, yeah. Hey, how funny, yeah? Yeah. So, 10,000 nights in the jungle, he stayed. Yeah. So, for our Deves and Davies, basically, World War II is going on. And what happens is, there's a lieutenant from Japan named Hiro Onoda that gets told, hey, we need you to be stationed in the Philippines because when the Americans come, we need you to hold it down. And they say, you're on a secret mission. You need to hold this place down until we come and get you. So anyway, he goes there. The war's going on. And what happens is the Americans flank them. The Americans flank them. Then they end up going back into the jungle to retreat. And then they go into, it's called guerrilla warfare. Guerrilla warfare is when like basically... It's like WWE no holds barred. It's like what Hamas is doing right now. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Just hiding under buildings. Literally, you hide under buildings, forest, places, and underground. You, you set up traps, you, you do flanks and all that stuff. But basically, the war's over and they get the call to come back to Japan. But this guy is stuck in suspense, thinking that, you know, the propaganda is going on, that the Americans are trying to suss him to get him to come back out. And he got ruled. So it says in the year. It's 1954, I believe. In 1954, he got deemed dead. Yeah. They they announced his death. People were like, okay, he's done. It's all over. Search parties tried to find him for a while. And then they just assumed that he was died. He died. So anyway, the war's over. This guy's still holding it down in the Philippines, in the village. Villagers know about this one soldier. They know who he, they don't know who he is, but they go, there's a soldier out there running amok. But 30 years... 30 I years just, of your I, life. I just want to give a shout out to Filipino people. They're just the nicest people. They're tolerated this they're bloke just, in the jungle. Yeah, it, he's shooting such shots nice at them. People, bro. Like the guys like they're like, ah, it's it's okay, he's crazy. That's yeah, okay. Yeah, yeah. We we'll let him we'll give him that space over there. He's crazy. And that's it. But every now and then when the Japanese because it wasn't only him, there was a few soldiers. Yeah. I looked but into they, a they way all, more. But they all died but off eventually. Slow, slowly, they had yeah. shootouts at the police. Yeah. And um here they eventually like it's like Ned Kelly, the last stand. Yeah, and every now and then, one of them would, one of the farmers or the the the, the people of the village would take one of them out yeah. because they're just sick of him, you know. Yeah, so they'd fire back. Yeah, and eventually, over time, they went from having an army to a squad of four to a squad of three, and then the last one died, and then it was just hit all by himself in mm. the in the jungle. Mm. Um, sus as anything, but he was loyal, mm-hmm. loyal to the core. Mm-hmm. Do you feel like you... And so, okay, long story short, a guy, a journalist, ended up hearing the story about this guy and was like, you know what? I'm going to go and find him. 
He goes up, he sets up camp, and in four days, he ends up finding the guy. They're having a conversation. They're chopping it up. And he's telling them, yeah, the war's been over 30 years ago. Mm. This is all that's happened. So then the guy goes to him. Hiro says to him, I will not go back to my country until the lieutenant comes here, my sergeant comes here and tells me, gives me the di- direct order to stand down. And homeboy comes back. <laughs> the guy comes back. The homeboy comes back. The guy's retired. He's a grandpa now. He works in schools or something. He comes back, gives him the order to stand down. And Hiro goes back to Japan, a hero. Mm. A hero. They, they love him. And, and, and he passed away at old age back, back in 2014. Um, he got married. He had kids. Like He ended up living a life. Yeah. But I want to pose this out there. Do you reckon you'd find this type of loyalty today? 100%. I think because we, at the moment, we're probably in peace, you know, and everyone thinks, oh, no one cares about the country and stuff. Yeah. But when push comes to shove, you will see crazy loyalty. And I think we saw a glimpse of it in Ukraine. Yeah. When Russia started attacking. People volunteered and just put their hands up, you know, and they said, hey, listen, we'll go fight. And they're probably fighting till today. Yeah. A lot of them lost their lives. But I think we'll find that loyalty, even in Australia, man. But the, yeah, so in Australia, do you reckon we'll have people that are loyal like that? A hundred percent. A hundred percent. I think we won't be the best soldiers. Yeah. You know, but I think generally people will be willing to fight for their country. Yeah. People will do it, man. And uh, and a lot of the guys will stand up and say, yeah, let's let's do this, you know. Your trips me out. It trips me out that there was a time where Australia had one of the the, the strongest armies in the mm. world. Yeah, because we barely fought anyone, bro. So <laughs> yeah. our army just kept growing, man. We were just stacking. Mm. Mm. It was like World War One. Was yeah. when we, we were, like at World War One, we, we were like top. I think it was top five. Yeah, we were ranked top five. Australia being ranked top five, yeah. crazy. And then they just sent us, th- and that's why they're <laughs> like, oh, they have high numbers. Let's send them up. <laughs> Let's send them up here. Give them false information so they can get taken out. Bro, and they got smoked. They got smoked and they fought through that still. Yeah, yeah. And they still took them out because... Yeah. Bro, shout out to the Aussies. <laughs> but <laughs> they, they, they promised them like, boys, when you get back, VB's for life. Yeah. Mate, when you get back, you're not going to work another day in your life. <laughs> yeah, yeah, you yeah, just yeah. can do whatever you want. But there will be loyalty, I think. I think Australia is... Look, I, I saw a clip and the guy's like... Would you, he went out and just asked a lot of Aussies, Aussie yeah. guys, would you guys fight? For the Australian army. Yeah. And a majority of guys said, yeah, 100%. Would I you? would fight. 100%. Oy. I would fight. I'd defend this country, man. Yeah. I'd, like, if someone was to come and invade this country, yeah. I would defend it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You yeah. know, because I'm defending my house. Yeah. So I'm family. defending my home and my family. And you know what? My Everyone commu- you care about. My community is my family. Yeah. My, 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 the, as much as, you know, we talk smack, whatever. Yeah. The state is our commu- uh, our community. My family and the country's my family in a way. Yeah. You know, I've, this country's I've lived in this country my whole life. It's I've have been given opportunities. Mm. I've been given food. I've been given shelter. Yeah, I've paid my taxes. Yeah, and I'm fighting for. And this now country. you can happily sit and have hot dogs yeah. delivered to you. Yeah, like you're not getting this luxury, man. Is unbelievable. And run a podcast we just cop hate on. Yeah, just run a podcast <laughs> yeah. we can talk smack on, <laughs> yeah. like. And people that say, oh, I wouldn't fight for this country, whatever, and lived in this country their whole life, well, who are you going to fight for? Yeah. You're not going back home. Yeah. This is your home. You have nothing else. Really. Your parents aren't even going to go back home. Yeah. Your parents are going to get buried here. <laughs> yeah. Your parents are going to get buried in the northern suburbs, in the graves. At Faulkner. At Faulkner yeah. Cemetery. And that's where your mum and dad are going to end up, and that's yeah. where you're most likely going to end yeah. up. Yeah. And your family are going to go Krispy Kremes after. Yeah, the Krispy Kreme hey, there. Have you, have you been to a funeral there? Yeah, I have, yeah. What, what's the haps after? Krispy Kreme? I just... <laughs> hey, you can't be... <laughs> hey, no, no, because we do the same. <laughs> it's crazy. <laughs> yeah. Look at this. This just shows you how fast people move on, whatever faith you are. Because you know what it is? Something about Krispy Kremes when you're a bit down. Get a bit of a nice sugar hit. Yeah. It does lighten the mood a bit. Okay, because you know why? we When we leave, yeah. that's... This is what, like, you have to know. This is what I think everyone needs to know. The one next to the KFC, yeah. How <laughs> fast people move on after you die. Yeah, yeah. You go to the Krispy Kreme, we go, like, I'd go for a feed. Maybe I'll Yeah. now yeah, that they're yeah. open. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Because it's there, so you just turn left. Or GYG. Go, There's GYG up there, too. The GYG. I haven't got to the GYG. I've done El Jenna, I've done the Krispy Kreme, and I've done Sydney Road. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Funeral. Even though I go to a funeral, quite a few funerals. 
But I'm, I was just surprised when you said that. <laughs> because even on the Christian side, they're, they're moving on after you die. Yeah, but you have to because like... If you didn't, it's, it's just I'm saying for for, for us, yeah, yeah, so yeah, yeah. The fact that like no one's special, like if <laughs> yeah, a celebrity yeah. died and he's getting buried at Faulkner, you're going to Krispy Kreme. Cream's after. Yeah, you're going to Krispy Kreme, and donuts. you're getting you're getting either if you haven't had lunch, you're getting. The, have you had the chicken bagel? No, nah, haven't had. I, I don't. I don't do savory at um Krispy Bro, Kreme. The avocado and chicken bagel. Yeah. Slaps, slaps, or. But you know, I don't really rock with their, their milkshakes. Oh, their milkshakes are average. I've tried them. Yeah. You know what's a good one? The Oreo? Yeah. I don't mind the Oreo and the Biscoff when they had it out. But me, I like the plain Jane Krispy Kreme original glaze. Yeah, because you can have a lot of them too. I'm just an original glaze guy. Yeah. You can have a lot of them too. That's the thing I like. Hey, you know what I'm going to do? Maybe we should do it on this. Hey, I've always thought about it, but I've never done it. You get two original glaze donuts. Yeah. This will cause us to die, had a heart attack or something. In the middle... A zinger. Think about it, cuz. Just think about it. But that's like sweet chili. Oh. No. Sweet and chili. Pepper, pepper mayo is sweet. I'm not a pepper mayo guy, but I don't know. That's a bit of a gamble. Have, who, have you seen someone have it? No. But I've had a Krispy Kreme donut and I've had a zinger by itself. And I go, you know, if these two were together... Because I'm starting a restaurant and I'm doing Uber Eats and I'm going to have Talking Trevi's hate on my food. I don't know, man. I'm just, I'm not convinced. I feel like, you, you know what you did? You got two things that you really love. So two different things. And you th- you're thinking, bring them together. Yeah. And it's going to work out. Yeah. Nah, I think that's a gamble, Kaz. I don't, I'm not a fan of it. I, I don't know if it'll work. You know how people dip I'm a hater. Yeah, you know people dip their chips in ice cream. Do you dip your chips in ice cream? No. Some people do. I reckon I reckon your brother does. Yeah. Uh, him, yeah, 100%. Yeah. He, he tweets <laughs> stuff, bro. Yeah. But I don't know. Let's. Uh, you know what? Let's do it next week. Yeah. Next episode, guys, we're going to have- You know uh, who I reckon does? You know who I reckon would vibe that? Sal Smell. Sal Smell. My guy, Sal, Sal, Sal Smell. <laughs> would vibe my food, yeah, bro. I know you Sal would. <laughs> I, there was a comment last week, even. Yeah, he goes, you uh, up, you nah, up. the one that goes, um, Ravo Nagamerov. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because yeah. I trimmed the. Um, that's why he said it. Yeah, yeah. Because yeah. I trimmed the Mo. Yeah. Um, he said, he's like, I'm like, hey, that's funny as, but. <laughs> yeah. Shout out to you. Um, yeah, but where, ha, where do we go? So. Oh, fighting for the country, but we ended up talking about <laughs> yeah, Krispy Kreme and, 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 yes. and the fact that your parents are getting buried at, at Faulkner. Faulkner Cemetery. Your parents are getting buried at Faulkner. And your family are going Krispy Kreme after. And they're going or Al Janna. They're going Al Janna or Krispy Kreme after. Yeah. Um. Yeah, man. I'd I'd definitely fight for the country. What about you? Would you fight for this country? Yeah. Honestly, I think I, think I would. Um. Only if we're getting invaded. Has to be we're getting invaded. I'm not gonna do it like you know like for example when everything happened with um 9/11 they were like we. We need people in the war. Mm. Go to the Middle East. Mm. I don't think I'd do that. Yeah. I'd do that thing, but I would do it if it's for here. Yeah, actually, I'd pro- I don't know. Yeah, if I'm, f- I'm going to go fight someone else's war, I'd probably... Yeah, like what if it's something... Like, for example... Like Ukraine, like, Russia. Yeah. I'm not going But when there. you even think about it, the World War One that wasn't our war. Neither was World War Two. Well, actually, it, be- it became our war once we got bombed. Yeah. But if we weren't involved, we never got bombed. Yeah. But like... It's, it's not our war, you know? Yeah. If someone was like, yo, I want to give Australia the work, fam, we'll give you the work. Yeah, like, like, like if, if, like, if South Africa said they wanted to go to war with Australia, they wanted to go with the yeah, war yeah. with Perth. Yeah. Just with Perth. Perth, yeah, yeah. Close. yeah, yeah it's yeah, close. Yeah, yeah, so yeah. they go to invade Perth. I'm going down to Fremantle <laughs> and I'm fighting. And they're coming on their boats. Yeah. <laughs> Listening <laughs> to, I'm, I'm, a I'm a piano. I'm a piano. Yeah, I'd, I'd go. I'd go take out yeah, them South Africans. Some, yeah. yeah, I'd give them the work. I'll go smoke them South Africans. <laughs> wait, wait. Here's While a they got virtual one. Wait, what if, what if New Zealand ever turned on us? Because if New Zealand turned, because people, I feel like people have always seen us as like a, we're like a tag, WWE tag team. Yes. You know, it's they're the shitty, youngy, like crappy, <laughs> yeah. you know, version of us. Doing the haka. The haka. Yeah, but like yeah, yeah. we're the proper. <laughs> Yeah You know what I mean We're like the star We're the superstar Because even they're involved When it says Anzac Yeah And the Anzac Yeah is yeah they, they add him to the end Yeah But what's they're it just, say first Yeah we're, we're there Australia Australia yeah New And Zealand. then New Zealand Like yeah, 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 yeah. They just added there Yeah So what if they went to war with us 
Yeah, yeah, yeah. Bro, I'm just actually, I was gonna say something, but don't worry. I was gonna say <laughs> Newcomb, but I was gonna say like if Australia went to war with New Zealand, we would smoke them in less than two hours. Yeah. I reckon. Alright, how about this though? Okay, we go to war with them, but no guns, no weapons, just hands. We'd still take it because <laughs> it it'd probably be like one Aussie uh, one one New Zealander would be w- worth four Aussies. Four Aussies, yeah. but population wise we'll still smoke them. I reckon Australia taking that would take out New Zealand. They're just, you know, when <laughs> I think of New Zealand, I just think of it like we're gonna go there one day. <laughs> and we're just gonna, and get, we're just gonna get chinned, bro, from the airport. I, you know, when I think of New Zealand, I just think of like, <laughs> hey, it's the talking trophies, boys. <laughs> <laughs> I just think of like the only w- reason I'd go there is like if there was a nuclear war. Because no one's going to nuke New Zealand because no one's going to even remember New Zealand as a country. Yeah. They'll be like, oh, there's people there? Nah, you know where I'd go? Where? Tasmania, bro. People think of Australia, but they don't think Tasmania. Yeah. Bro, but Tasmania's boring, guys. Yeah, it is, but I think it'd be inter- and it's entertain- cold. It's it'd cold. be entertaining it's watching cold, some rednecks. It's cold, man. It's cold. Nah, but I think visiting some rednecks and stuff. Yeah, you, I, I've always wanted to do Spirit of Tasmania. Because, you know, they have the, the stereotype of like... Incest. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I, I've always wanted to do Spirit of Tasmania. I've done it. Oh, you did? Yeah, You yeah, went yeah. to Tasmania? Tasmania? Yeah. How is it? Yeah, it was all right. Well, I was like, I was like 13. Um, But we, we went on the boat, and the boat's, the boat's rocking, cuz. But it was... Overnight? But guess what they had there? It was back when the Xbox Connect came out. Remember the Connect, the, the, the camera? Yeah, yeah. So you'd, I was just playing on that, the whole thing. We got there, but I'll be honest, um, Tasmania is beautiful. There's a part where you go on the boat. It's like a speedboat. And it takes you to the most southern part of Australia. Mm. And have you have you watched King Kong? Yeah. King Kong. You know that scene in King Kong where the, the mountains? It's like a, sorry, they're in the water, but the cliffs are. It's like a skyscraper because yeah, yeah. like the sides of it. Yeah. That's what it's like down there. You're you're driving next to these cliffs and you you're looking up and they look like they're at least 150 meters. Whoa. Because god did his thing when he created this world bro he's an he's the best he's the goat artist yeah just the the goat in everything yeah like this world is beautiful i'll show you a photo of it tasmania cliffs jumping because it's like this bro Whoa, they're massive. And you, you're you on a speedboat. The thing is zooming. Yeah. And they they, they, they they do take the piss on that a bit. Like, What do you mean? Bro, there's waves. The guy's flying on the waves. You're going in the air. Mm. Oh, yeah, yeah. That's fun, mm. bro. That's fun. That's and fun. the guy's ripping circles. That's fun. And That's the thing fun. is, the the water's so rough, you get drenched. Oh, okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Now, I gotta, we got to do Tasmania, man. But, um, yeah, if we went to Wolf New Zealand, smoke them. Give him the Wouldn't word. even, huh? Yeah, give him G- the word. Give him the work. This is not even a topic on our list, but, yeah. you know, we like, just... <laughs> just give him the work, <laughs> yeah. actually. But Australia, hey, we, we, we need a war soon. We need a war soon because one of the topics is Australia is struggling to get soldiers. We're struggling yeah. to get people to fight for our country uh, in the ADF. Yeah. The numbers are really low that they've actually expanded out to the UK, yeah. US, Canada, and New Zealand. So, look, New Zealand... we. We might Take need that you. back. We might need you. But yeah, the numbers are low. So from 2025, I believe, yeah, well. they can all fight for the Australian Army. Not bad. Yeah. What they are your thoughts well. on that? They pay well in the Army. They pay really well, yeah. Yeah. Like compared free to education. other countries. Free education. Free education as well. You get specialized in something. Free education. You get um, pretty much military combat training. Yeah. Um, and I think you make I lifelong used, friends. I remember they used to give you discount housing. I don't think they do that anymore, do they? They do. They give you loans. They they have loans. I, I don't know if it's Bank of Victoria or Bank of Melbourne. Which yeah, it's one of the yeah. state banks, but pretty much like you can get loans from them. So they'll yeah. give you decent employees. Oh, I wouldn't mind being a chaplain. For the army? Yeah. <coughs> get to preach Jesus in the army. So you, you preach Jesus before you send the bike out to die. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> and then... His family come back and I help them out. Yeah, <laughs> you're the one that gives him the news. Like, yeah. you, I think you know what I think. Australia I feel like needs. I'd be a good newsbreaker. Yeah, you'd be. Like, no, no, you'd be. So I'd be like, you let's know, try, like, let's try, let's right, try. Right, look, right, look, right, look. Cause ready? Um, no, I'm ready. You're, you're gonna tell you're me the my widow. Son. No, you're gonna tell my no, son. No, no, you're the widow. Cause. I don't want to be a widow. <laughs> you're the widow. Okay, you know what? It I'm only a widow. fits if it's a widow. Cause. Okay, okay, I'm the widow. Nah, but then it's sus because then you can just try to highlight me and then try to have my, you know. Oh, you're not taking advantage of me. I'm not. 
Let's go. Three. Are you ready? Three, right. two, one. Action. Poof, 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 poof. Hello, it's the chaplain from the Australian Army. Kids, go to bed now. Poof, 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 poof. Go to bed. One second. One second. <laughs> Hello? Hey, is this uh, Mrs. Stevens? Yes. Who are you? Hey, um, I'm Damien, the chaplain from the Australian Army. And uh, I have to let you know that uh, your your husband, Greg. Yeah, what, what happened to Greg? Is he all right? He hasn't called back in like three weeks. Um, yeah. What's going on with Greg? Firstly, um, I'm sorry you haven't got the news yet, but... What but news? I'm sorry to tell you, but... Greg had his head blown off with a five <laughs> shotgun. <laughs> Got his head blown off with a five gauge shotgun <gasps> while he was serving in Afghanistan. And the worst part was, it wasn't even an Arab that killed him. <gasps> it was friendly fire by a misfire. <gasps> I need to sit down. I need to get some water. <laughs> I need. I need to go to. Is it alright if I sit in the living room? Yeah, yeah, just sit, is it alright? Sit down, sit down. <laughs> alright, let, right. let me sit down. So, alright. So I thought, firstly, um, how long do you reckon it's going to take for you to start looking for someone else? That's a bit <laughs> creepy. I didn't see that in the New Testament. <laughs> I didn't see that in the New Testament. Uh, I know, this is I know. very strange. I, was, uh, I just want to make sure you're alright, that's all. Kids, go to bed! <laughs> <laughs> Guys, and that's how we're breaking the news. Nah, you'd be a shocking chaplain. Yeah, like, like, bro, be, like straight up, be. don't ever think I about doing it. <laughs> but, <laughs> hey, I've got to say, look, Australia does need to go back to being a heavy Christian country. Mm. Okay, let me tell you that. Because I think if you do that, look, even as a Muzi saying it, mm -mm. even as a Muzi saying it, I think Australia does need to go back to it being a heavy Christian country, conservative country, conservative yeah. country as in for to get that patriotism back, yeah. like to get people back in the army and stuff. Yeah, yeah. Because I think people will be like, the the, the people are going to be like, oh, we're fighting for Australia. Because what happens it's is our value. there's unity amongst the people and their yeah. government. Yes. They go, I'm like, if they don't see their government and their faith as separate things. Yes. They, they say this is a Christian country. I'm going to fight. Like America, even though America is like... Mate, people cool. have, have things saying that they've, they've, they've sold this also to the devil and stuff. It's a Christian nation. People see it as a Christian nation. So yeah. that's why you find soldiers from the South being like, yeah, oh, die hard. Oh, we'll die for America right now, man. Don't kill these Arabs. Yeah, 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 why yeah. do they do that? Because it's they have this idea that, because a lot of the people in the army are Christian. Yeah. And they have that thing. You know what I mean? Even, for example, but the thing is, to be honest, it does make the Muzis look a bit bad because you guys love having us as enemies. We love <laughs> a, we love our good back and forths. Yeah. Like, Christ, like Christians. Even in boxing, in UFC, anything, anything, anything. sport. Christ have you seen that one where they go, the soccer team, they go, Which the one? Christians and the, the Muslims, and they go, yeah, the, French, the loser has the to French convert. School? Yeah, the French schools. <laughs> yeah. The Muzis won in the yeah, end, yeah, mate. Yeah. But you know what it is? You know what it is? It's it's always like game seven playoffs. It's yeah, playoff. Yeah, it's literally yeah, yeah. Christians versus Muslims is NBA playoffs. Yeah, that's what it is. And you know what? You got to embrace it sometimes. Yeah, you got to embrace that competitive spirit. And then you got places like talking trophies that brings where it there's together. a dwelling place for both. The, look, we're blood. <laughs> yeah. The thing is, the fact that we're blood cats, makes it easier. It makes it so much easier. But there's some days where I just want to chuck on a Jilla beer <laughs> and Damon just wants to chuck a cross on and jump on a boxing ring yeah. and go at it just and say, it. whoever wins, <laughs> the converts. other one converts. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, we'll do you it. see, other podcasts don't have these conversations. Yeah, yeah, they don't yeah, have yeah. these little tip They're always tiptoeing around when it comes to faith. Yeah, mate. But um, we're fair more believe, boys. You know what we should do? I reckon we should, like, I rock up to... I should be a special guest that Friday night. Fusion. Fusion. Yeah. Do you reckon they'd recognize me there if I rock up? Yeah. Like, what? People would recognize you, yeah. Yeah? Yeah, yeah. And I just rock up on stage and have it, and I'll be like, convert me now and let's see who can convert me first. Yeah, yeah. Or we should do we should do and like then there's a, a video of the kid dancing. Oh, the kid dancing. <laughs> and you're like, all right, no, I'm no, done. we we, no, we should we should do a session where I just come suss out where you guys do kick it. Day in the life of Ravo. Day in the life of Damo. Damo, yeah. Like I reckon that'd be sick. Like just rocking up 
Damn. We should we should do. I'll just rock up to um, Fusion and just see what you guys do. Like, but yeah. I'll say, look, if any of you try to get me, convert me. <laughs> look, warning shots. But yeah, yeah, yeah. Let's come and kick it and see what's going on here. Yeah, day in the Cause, life. Because I just want to jump in that mosh and just jump in the mosh. I want to jump in that praise mosh, Jesus. jump in come the on. stage. Huh? Come praise Jesus with us. Oh, I'm, look, I'm not going to praise Jesus, but I'll give <laughs> hey, I'll give Jesus a shout out. Shout out, yeah. Because he is a prophet yeah, yeah. in the end of the day. So you I'll just kick it, kick it with our boy. But yeah, we, yeah. we should do something like that, man. I think it's funny because you know what I always say? I always say like Christians and Muslims and Jews and stuff. We got to learn about the other religion, like know what the other religion believes. Yeah. Like I realize. Like, like or, guys, even, or even what a day in the life of their uh, faith is. Faith is, yeah, man. Yeah, like yeah. know what they believe in, you know. Because like, to be honest, I feel like we live in... um. Oh, I'm not sure if there's a word for it, but like we live in the reality of like what everything presents itself. To. Yeah. So like you know, like stereotypes, like oh, black people like this because the TV says it. Yeah. It's almost like we live in that reality too. Yeah. Like, oh, Muslims only live like this because I, this is how I see it online yeah. or how people tell it. But like for example, me and you, we got real like we're well above average. Like I got really good knowledge on Christianity. Yes. yes. Surprisingly, you trip out of me how yeah, I know yeah, this yeah, stuff. Yeah, yeah. But like you know a lot. And about I know a lot about Islam, Islam too. Islam, you know, yeah, yeah, yeah. especially with family and stuff. Yes. Yeah. It's like. We know what we believe. So we can actually go deeper on a conversation. Yeah. And, and we can actually have a faith conversation without it going down a realm of like ignorance or it's like... It's ignorance, yeah. yeah like yeah. end of the day, like obviously everyone has their own beliefs. But yeah. I just, I, I think it's funny because like, for example, I, I ask my friends, I'm like, guys, Jews know like, for example, like my Muslim friends, when they speak on Christianity, I'm like, guys, you don't even know like the sex of the Christianity, what yeah. they believe and stuff. They're like, I'm like, do you know the difference between a Catholic and a Pentecostal? They go... Nah, no, guys, what's don't. that? Yeah, you know yeah, what I mean? Yeah, the so same true. way for ask a Christian, like, do you know the difference between a Shia and a Sunni? Yeah, They'll be like, yeah, yeah. nah, man. No, don't. don't you guys believe in the same thing? Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know yeah. what I mean? It's, it's so true. Ha- it's, if you have that conversation, have knowledge at least, bro. I think, yeah. and to be honest, even with me, I was like, yo, I, I'm born Muslim, yeah? And I think don't speak on it until you actually know about the other faith. 100%. Yeah, yeah. And I'll, that's why I can respect some theologians that go to debates that know about the other faith. Yeah, yeah, Because yeah. there's some people that try to speak, like, you know, you get street preachers and stuff like that, or people that do rants on social media mm. and stuff, but they don't even know about the other faith, or they yeah. don't even know about what it is to live a life in that person's shoes. Yeah, we got some guy, his name is Dr. Zaki Nike. Yeah. He's the GOAT. Like, he, 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 he memorized the Quran, Bible, the Torah, the Hindu yeah, yeah. books. Uh, he knows the Buddhist books, like, and he knows all the stuff, and he just he does debates yeah, yeah, and yeah. all of that stuff. But he's just funny, and he's got like a famous quote that goes, "Whenever someone asks him something about a, like for example, someone would ask him about why do Muslims believe this, and then he goes, brother asks a very good question.' By the end of the oh, video, yeah, the guy's yeah. like, wa la la la. <laughs> <laughs> He just reverses. It's it's the funniest thing, bro. Yeah, but yeah, yeah. I just love the way he does it. But yeah, man, people should know. I think yeah. I think that's one thing I've I've always I've always under. I've I've always wanted wanted to know why it's not taught as well. Like you should yeah. learn. My mom taught me this a lot. Like uh, you know, cause my mom taught me this stuff, the Christian yeah. stuff about Christian. Yeah, yeah. Because you know why? Because obviously, Eritre- like my mom hangs out with the other Eritrean ladies yes. and stuff downstairs, yeah. and, stuff, and they talk about religion. They have a laugh, but it's it's coming from a respect. And you know what? Place. To respect someone, you have to know about their life. A hundred percent. Like I'll be honest, I like when people tell me about someone and they don't even know what they do for work or don't even know how they live. Like, it's like, bro, you know, I'm on such a surface level. You can't even consider that person your homie. Yeah. A real, like, actual yeah. friend. No, no, there's, there's, there's a lot there's of people. There's surface level friends, but there's a lot of people that don't bother to go the extra step. Yeah. Like, a lot of people don't know about me. I think a lot of people, they, for example, they understand me from this. Yeah. And they're like, oh, Raver is like this and stuff. Yeah. But then they come to my friends and they're like, oh, no, nah, bro. Like, I don't show that p- side of personality. Like yes. a lot of people be like, "Oh, Raver," you know. A lot of people be like, "Oh, Raver's pretty switched on." Or yeah, yeah. Raver does. This. They don't know. Like for example, someone commented. I think they saw me on Burke Street or something. Yeah, yeah, under the yeah, post. Yeah, yeah. But that was com- me coming from work. So imagine someone like seeing me with a suit on and stuff. Yes. But I don't show that side of me. No, because I want to show. Different. You, this is me. It's like it's comfortable. Oh, it's comfortability too. Yeah, you know? yeah, yeah. So like, bro, don't don't. Per- I I don't know how we got here, but like, don't yeah. perceive, don't perceive people. From a surface level, if you don't know, if yeah. you don't know them, get to know them more. For and you, know, you know what? I feel like I'm getting to a point even on the podcast where I'm kind of transparent who I am off the camera and on the camera. I feel like it's becoming more evident because people, if people know me, they go, bro, like they'll be dying at the episode because they can relate to it because they go, that's how we banter in person mm-hmm. or they know that's how we have a conversation yeah. in person. It's like less like. Yeah, I felt like the first few years we were just trying to understand how to even do this whole podcasting thing. Yeah. But now there's a comfortability where we, we're actually 
I feel like we're just starting to be ourselves more and more. Yeah, cuz I think to be honest, I think this podcast does has have growth. Yeah. And I was saying like I think me and you've got into that point cuz where the chemistry of us two yeah, is yeah. great. But like bringing on guests, yeah. We can take it to another level. And I think bro from Every guest that a lot of the guests that come on, they're like, "Yo, bro, this is like this is fun. This is fun." The last lo- episode, they were like, "Yo, this is fun." Yeah, a lot of people say that, and they're like, "I think it's because one, we always bring out, we're always our unique selves." Yes, I think people, people think, "Oh, we turn off the camera and then we go back to like <laughs> we're just on our phones and like and no, no, one's, one, talking. no one's talking." Yeah, 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 it's we're having a thirty-minute conversation with our guest yeah. before, and then thirty minutes after they kick it with us, and then we we go, "Ah, oh, peace out." Half. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, so. Yeah, Def's got to be more... Trans- uh, hey, Def's got to get more guests on. Hey, and, sh- and shout out the other podcasts going on. Just seeing the, ch- the growth in them too. They're killing it. Yeah, you know, t- even, t- I've been watching TD. has been doing big things right now. I'm not going to lie. I've been watching them and I'm going, yo, they're actually growing. The way even just their personalities individually. Yeah. So much more character, growth, depth, banter. They're way more invested in it. It's great. They're like proper. Like They love the game. I love to see it. Yeah, we they they want it. they want to they want to be like the biggest podcast, and then you and got Asia like, huh? and then you got Asia just like, <laughs> yeah, we're just here for vibes. We stop halfway through the episode and walk downstairs to pick up food. Yeah, <laughs> I go downstairs to pick up a jumper. We, you know what we should do? We should we should get Marwa back on. Oh yeah, yeah. I want to get your girl Moezy on. Haven't I think I, have, I think we need a, we need to do an uh, episode with her where she gives us a full intervention yeah. on how we can improve as a podcast. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Just gives it to our life. And bittersweet, uh, doing a uh, what renovation with oh, Mutana? Yeah. Oh yeah, 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 yeah. I was gonna say, what do you mean bittersweet? Thing I left. But no, it's bittersweet. It's still yeah, gonna yeah, be bittersweet. Yeah, yeah. I was telling with Tana, I was saying you should do a um like the Wintana show. Like she should be the new Oprah Winfrey of yeah. Melbourne. I uh, like imagine like a show where yeah. people come on and she interviews them yeah. and she does like she hosts and it's oh, it's a really like in depth show and people yeah. fall in love with her. But she I, think asks those already, I feel like she's already established a brand though. With oh, bittersweet. bittersweet. That's what she said. So I feel like she could, but I still think she could do her own thing and then make that the branding of. But what couldn't she's bittersweet doing. be like? Imagine having like it's like that's the, and that could be and bittersweet could be a segment or bittersweet could be. You know, it could be and a it segment. Could be like the merch. It could be the merch. It could be the merch. It could be the segment. It could be the studio. Yeah, it can be the branding of it. Yeah, but the actual show is this person's show. Yeah, the Wintana show. Yeah, because yeah, yeah. the Wintana show would be tough. Yeah. I think with Ta- one thing is, I'll give it out. I'll give it up to her. She's a great host. Mm. Like I've seen her host like events and stuff like yeah, that. Yeah, yeah. She's probably one of the best in Melbourne. Yeah, because you know how I see, it? I see it as like you know, you have chunks in Philly, or you just have chunks. But then they have the beta squad, or then they have their segments where it's mm. just them, and that's their branding. Mm. And like, you never see Chunks doing merch where it's like, "Hey, it's Chunks merch." It's not yeah. that. It's it's the beta squad merch, yeah. or it's the AMP merch. It's like there's there's a branding behind it that mm. carry with it. Yeah, so she, that'd be sick if she did a show like that. But yeah, man, I think and oh, I've tapped in. We've recorded an episode, boys. Where's the episode at, man? We need that episode. Yeah, yeah. And Damo, you should go do an episode. I with need them, to do an episode. I reckon you should Tell go them to invite me. They're invite a, me. Hey, they're a laugh too, man. Like, I can see the fun of having more numbers yeah. on a podcast. Maybe banter. you can banter more, but not as... I say probably like when you're interviewing, it's a bit harder. But like with them, when I was just there, bro, I just felt like I was kicking it with my boys. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Just chatting, having smack banter. and stuff, having a laugh. It's good. But yeah, Melbourne's doing its thing, man. Yes, um, sir. Let's call it an ep? Yeah, let's call it an ep. I want to go to that comedy show. Comedy show. show. Yeah, I don't know what time it starts. I'm going to give him a call, but we should go suss it out. I want to see this American comedian. Yeah. Uh, hey, guys, listen, make sure you guys do hit the subscribe button. Hit the follow button. Yes. And hit the like button. And you know what it is? Hey, listen. Look, Davies and Deves, bro, I know, like, watching Talking Trophies is, like, a low-key thing you do. I don't think you tell your friendship group. Yeah. Like, the same way you don't tell your friendship group. You masturbate. <laughs> yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah, yeah. Which so, you shouldn't be doing. Which you shouldn't be doing. We hate that stuff. But... You just gotta go tell your friends about talking trophies. Tell them. Tell tell them. them. Bring it up in a conversation. Don't and you don't have to like send it into a group chat in a way like it's like, oh look what these guys are doing just because you want to share it. Just share yeah, it. Be yeah. like, yo, hey, check out these. Check out talking trophies, man. Yeah. You know, share it around. Get into that habit, man. Come on, Melbourne, man. What's with this? You know, don't have this uh, average jazz mentality and then go share some like random beta squad yeah. video where they don't care about yeah, you. Yeah, I don't get that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know it's what I mean? goofy, bro. Share us here. Let us get bigger so then we, yeah, can, yeah. we can end up having the platform. And then, you know what? We might give you a shout out. Yeah. You know what I mean? At least we rec- recognize you. You're not, hey, a, you know what? I you're hope, not a username. I hope we get to a stage where, like, you know, it's big, but we never shy away from getting people on like how we do with Air Raid. Because I'll tell you something, man. I'm, I'm a very humble guy, 
But if I get that big, Kaz, I'll still probably be the same. Yeah. You know me, Kaz. This stuff that I like, I don't care about. I like, the only reason I like growth is because it's like, oh, this is results of hard work. That's yeah, all yeah. it is. I'm a, I'm a numbers guy like that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Not as in like, oh, when you get big. Brother, if I see a div on the street, man, I'll say, what's up? Don't hug me. Don't hand, shake my hands. But if I see a Dave yeah. in the street, what's up? You know, I'll dab yeah, you yeah, up, yeah, whatever. Yeah. You know, but like, that's that's how it should but be. But like, I mean, as in getting guests on the episode. Oh, no, we'll still do air raid. Like, yeah. imagine having a better studio. We can do air raid for 10 people. Yeah. And moderate and be like yeah. the moderators or something. And we could have segments where we like do a punch on in the room or whatever. Yes. Yeah. yeah. And all we need is we need growth. So if you share this stuff, we can do this stuff. And we might bring back word on the street. I'm just trying to think of a good day to go. Like what it has to be. The weather's trash, bro. The weather's trash. And I think Melbourne night, cold. The, the, the nightlife's been dead lately. You know, apparently. I've been, I've been like, whenever I drive around, it's the city these days. It's like, bro, it's quiet. Yeah. Even driving, because I, because driving from North Melbourne, going back to the northern suburbs, I drive through, you know, Essendon. Yeah. You know, the, like the main road used to be jumping in yeah. summer. Yeah. That main road, quiet. I don't know, man. Melbourne, I think people just want to stay home yeah. and watch Netflix movies and stuff like that. But hey, hey, shout out to you guys, man. Appreciate y'all, man. Enjoy your week. Enjoy your night. We might get a guest on next week. Stay humble. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Faith.